I want to get back to your money for a moment. Stocks, uh, we're going to show you some stocks on the screen. Uh, we've got McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Walmart, P&G. Got it. They, all these stocks, uh, they've weathered the recent selling storm. So says our next guest, David Barnson, CIO of the Barnson Group. What do they all have in common? If you're, if you're right, if they've all weathered the storm, so to speak, what's the commonality between them? Uh, the commonality between them is dividend growth. It's the fact that they have a non-cyclical flow of earnings that enables them to continue growing their free cash flow and continue a stable and a dependable, something investors can depend on in terms of the consistency of the return. So they're not high growth names. They're not going to be your biggest returners in every period of time, but you know, you're looking at Procter Gamble up 16% over the last three months, mm -hmm. McDonald's about the same, Johnson Johnson, which is a full 30% of consumer staples and their revenue is up six or 7%, uh, Coca-Cola about eight. So these are all names that we own, all names that are significant positions for us that have weathered the storm very well. Johnson & Johnson reportedly knew that there was a little bit of asbestos in their talcum powder and they knew for decades that stock is way down today. Did you, did you see that coming? Because you own it. Um, yeah, did I see that coming? That's funny. Um, you know, the, the, the headline risk around these different litigation things with Johnson Johnson has been going on since 1935, and I believe there will continue to be various uh, uh, issues that pop up on that name. But my point being that the cash flows, the balance sheet of all these companies, too, Stuart, that's another thing we have to look to. They're not overly indebted, so they're not as susceptible to reversals in good fortunes when they come across a cyclical um, you know, problem or challenge, they have the ability and the financial strength to weather through it. Mm. Uh, I like all those names. And I don't think you can say it about every name in the sector. That's true. Look at Kellogg, look at Kraft Heinz that are down almost 20% in the last three months. Mm. So it isn't just the entire sector happens to be a flight to safety. We hear people say that a lot. It actually is a bottom-up, really strong company performance-driven dynamic. Um, what are you buying right now? As I understand it, you are buying Blackstone. BX is the, the symbol. And as you know, David, as our viewers know, I bought it on your recommendation because it pays a 6 maybe 7% dividend. But the thing has gone down since I bought it. Explain yourself. <laughs> Well, first of all, if I recall where you bought it, it went straight up and then came down and then went up and then came down. So it's a been a roller coaster of price ownership, and that's going to continue, I think, for some time. It doesn't get a lot more cyclical with capital markets than Blackstone. But what is not cyclical, Stuart, is why I told you to buy it, which is the <laughs> dividend, the return of cash to shareholders which right now at this price, the yield is actually about 8% yep, that's right. and is a direct flow that is coming through to investors well, quarter after quarter. Right now, the stock is at the same place it was 10 years ago, except for the company has grown 500% because they've returned so much cash to shareholders along the way. Hmm. Now, I can make an argument for why I believe the stock is deeply undervalued. It's the same argument that Steve Schwartzman, their CEO, would make. Of but course. my point is that you have a high degree of leverage of Blackstone to global capital markets. They're asset managers. You don't have the risk of their balance sheet. They're not investing with their own capital. Blackstone is getting fees to manage assets, and they're unbelievably good at it. Okay. So you get the fee revenue, which is highly consistent and comes through to you and I in their dividend. But then it also has the what they call realizations or carry interest. When they make profits, we're getting a piece of that. Okay. That's the kind of growth catalyst. That's David, my argument. I, I, am, I am reassured. I'm not selling. Good. I'll milk the dividend, okay? Uh, David, thank you very much indeed. Good to see you again, fellow. See you soon. Thank you. Good to see you.